Hello, you guys. This is Aminette Oshun, and I'm about to do um, a reading for Aries um, for <clears throat> for January 2021. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do year predictions for each sign. So we're gonna start with Aries. So this is the Aries prediction for 2021. All right, so still a year prediction for Aries 2021. Your prediction for Aries 2021. All right, so we got one more shuffle for Aries for yearly prediction for 2021. All right, so Aries, some interesting cards came out for you guys. So this is your yearly prediction for 2021. So this is going to cover the whole year. All right, now the situation that's going to be the theme for your whole year. So it's the lover's card. All right. So what that means is that you have a relationship that is going to be the theme for your year, okay? Um, romance, marriage, relationship, things of that nature, okay? Now, oh, wow, okay. So what crosses you is the death card. So it could be an ending to your situation some point in this year. So you're going to start off in a relationship and then there's going to be an ending to it with a new beginning. That is drama. <laughs> All right. Wow. So after you start, you, you, whatever relationship you had in 2020 is going to be ending. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune. So you ended a, suit, a new a situation and now you have new beginnings. Because actually that death card can mean that you're, that's the circle around your relationship. No, I'm sorry. Your situation is the lover's card. So that deals with relationship marriages. Then you have the death card. So the death card can also mean new beginnings to that relationship. So I'm not going to say it's ending. We're going to say and be positive and say that that means new beginnings. The only reason why I said it means new beginnings is because we have the Wheel of Fortune card behind it, which falls in your unconscious influences. So these are the things that are behind the scenes. So you have elevation of money. You have an overseas trip coming. And a completion of a phase. All right. Hmm. Let's see what follows. Then what passes you, we have the Emperor's card, um, which means you have delays. Delays coming. So you have this great relationship. Then you have the death card, which is an ending to that situation. I'm going to say that. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune card, which means that because that ending of that situation, that a relationship, 
you elevated in money okay and you completed you closed that chapter of your life that relationship you you closed it um then you have the emperor's card so you have a little bit of delays in what you moving forward and then we have your conscious influences so these are things that that you under you know about that are not behind the scenes that you focus on and we have the knight of wands so you have some important information that comes after your delays then you have the near future in the near future we have the four of swords so the four of swords talks about sickness bed illness needing to take time out rest and relaxation is needed so basically in the near future spirit is telling you to do a lot of self-care with yourself slow down um relax take a little bit more naps um take time for yourself okay so that's probably why you had these delays because you haven't did it after that relationship you didn't do the work as far as self-care and that's why you had delays now and you free your emotions this is how you feel about the situation you have the four pinnacles so when you took the time out for yourself and you relaxed and you know worked on you now you have the four pinnacles so the four the four pinnacles talks about money moving your way okay money coming your way but then your outside influences which is your friends family and friend outside people okay we got the three of swords the three of swords to me is a three-party situation it talks about deception jealousy frustration things like that so either you didn't fully let go of this person and now that now you guys are in a three-party situation um the cards are not telling me that you um uh, you're seeing somebody new and then it says outside influences so these are whoever you're if you're going to be in a three-party situation this is a person that you know already so like i said it could be the ex it could be somebody new you just decide to entertain after this relationship and now you're in a three-party situation um let's clarify that card Spirit, clarify the three of swords. I just want to see what they say about that. Clarify the three of swords, Spirit. Clarify the three of swords. three of swords so the emperor comes up the emperor talks about structure discipline Ooh. organization and logic clarify the three of swords ego hmm. so this this tells me that this is the ex that you're still talking to So you're, you're going to have an issue with letting go of this X. Yeah. But because y'all broke up, you're going to be in a three-party situation. Either they, they must have started talking to somebody when you guys broke up, and now you're in a three-party situation. So <clears throat> your hopes and dreams, you have the star card. So you're hoping to, to gain something out of this three-party situation. Um, and you're not asking for a lot. You're really not. You're really just asking for them to like respect you, um, you know, things like that. And you just have, you know, good thoughts about the relationship. You want it to work. And you're not even requiring a whole lot. And in your outcome, you got the two of pinnacles. So the two of pinnacles uh, talks 
about juggling two situations are ideal. Um, so then this could possibly be you in a three-party situation. So you ended the past relationship and you started looking at things like in a positive way and looking at your life in a positive way, trying to work on you. And in the midst of that, you meet someone, but not only one serious, just, you know, you just meet somebody and then all of a sudden the ex comes back. So now you're in a three-party situation. So, um, and now you're juggling. So that's how your 2020 is going to go. Um, <laughs> kind of a toxic situation, but that's that's really what it is. Um, I don't even want to ask Spirit, who are you going to choose? The ex or the new person? Spirit, who are they going to choose? The ex or the new person? The ex or the new person? first card that comes out is the queen of earth it says make time for those around you um deal with a person with the understanding manner and then you have the skill the eight of earth and it says skill work is reward so this tells me you're going to go back to the ex you guys are going to go to counseling you're going to talk things out and um you guys are going to really work things out so yeah, so that concludes your reading, Aries. Um, next, I'm going to do Taurus for the year 2021. So that is your prediction, and have a good day.